it's time for you to learn the engine run up and pre takeoff checks. As you taxi for the purpose of taking off, you will taxi to what's called a run up bay. The run up bay is simply where we calibrate the aircraft's engine to peak performance above the altitude above sea level that we are currently at, as well as just confirming all systems are well within good operating serviceable condition so we can have a safe flight. Two notes on the run up bay always take the line furthest away so other aircraft can occupy the lines or run up lines behind you and stop well before the white stripe lines because this basically just serves as an indication where other aircraft is passing us by then their wings should not be able to actually pass this line which will avoid a collision at all times once you've taxied to your run-up bay confirm you are holding the brakes and setting the park brake at the same time and that your aircraft is indeed idling at 1000 rpm well altogether confirming the aircraft isn't rolling so while doing this checks you need to do something inside look outside inside outside at all times to confirm aircraft is staying static on the ground you're gonna start off once you've got confirmed the bra brakes is set and the aircraft is moving with your fuel selector if you have an aircraft with a fuel selector that says left right and both go ahead and turn it onto the both position otherwise just confirm in this case that the fuel selector is currently on the on position once our fuel selector is set we'll confirm the oil and temperature pressures are indeed in the green so we can go ahead and do those run-up checks from here you can go and advance the mixture to the full reach position set 1700 rpm on your rpm gauge and confirm the aircraft isn't moving forward now look at the rpm gauge again while you're gonna take the carpet and put carpet hot then you're gonna see there's a reduction in rpm once the carpet goes back to cold you should see a rise in rpm and to the normal idling rpm of 1700 once that's set again quickly check the brakes is holding and we're not moving forward and now we will do what's called set our mixture for the peak range so what you're going to do you're going to look at the rpm and you're going to start leaning your mixture we're looking for a rise in that needle there's a rise in the needle rpm we're still leaning we're looking for the highest point then you're going to see the needle actually starts to drop there's to drop so now advance the mixture or reaching the mixture to the highest point that you've actually seen the needle it was just about there about 1800 in a real aircraft then you will turn the red knob two times clockwise and this should set you up perfectly for the mixture now moving with the mixture I'm gonna leave it right here as we will now go to the ignition um, I want you to also focus again on the RPM we're gonna go one click to the left Magneto, then you're gonna see a drop in RPM. It's fine if it's 100, but should not be more than 125. So one click left, and then both RPM should therefore increase again. Then we're gonna go two clicks for the right Magneto. Confirm there's again a drop in RPM, um, but not more than 125. But with this one as well, that uh, left Magneto, right Magneto, both the drops are not or within 50 rpm so currently they were the same then two clicks back or to the right and that should leave you on both and then we can move along to our instrument checks again oil and temperatures are within staying within the green and we've got perfect suction for our gyros and all instruments in working condition from here you will then look at your compass 
it's currently showing a heading of 1804 south usually at this time you find your di more or less a little bit out so at this point di to compass just set your di so it actually shows the south at the top once that is set you can bring your throttle to idle leave it there for about five seconds confirm the aircraft engine isn't cutting out and it's idling at roughly about 700 to 800 rpm once that's completed you can then reset your aircraft to 1000 rpm and that's the basic engine run-up checks completed now we're gonna do the pre takeoff checks and then we can be on our way for the pre takeoff checks I'll put this down in the description we use a phrase called too many pilots go fly in heaven early so we're just using each letter of each word to let us know what we need to do to test so we're gonna start off with two so that's is T so the T stands for two uh, test controls what we basically just doing is putting forward pressure on the control all the way to the left all the way back all the way over to the right and forward and centralize the control but while doing this you need to look at your ailerons at the same time if they are actually moving because the purpose of this is to actually confirm the cables are indeed deflecting your ailerons it's no purpose that you, if your controls are moving but none of the flight surfaces are moving still on T will then confirm the throttle friction nut is um, tightened this is your throttle friction nut basically for taxi you'll turn this to loose so you can easily control the uh, throttle but before takeoff you tighten it so when you do take off it just prevents the throttle from reducing and then you losing rpm and speed the last T is for your trim let's just take the trimmer all the way out here let's say what do you do if an aircraft doesn't have any writ, uh, writing on it anymore how do you know actually where is the center trim i'm going to show you once you're sitting in the aircraft look at the back and then raise your elevator by applying back pressure on your control column and you'll see on the edge your trimmer of the elevator is not in line with your rear wing so what you're going to do now you're just going to simply retrim your aircraft to the center position so at this stage you actually look at your trimmer at the rear and confirm it is actually set so we'll look again and once it's set in the neutral it will then line up with your wing so that's how you set a trimmer if you can't actually see um, inside the cockpit but always I always say rather confirm with your eyes than trusting some written information on the cockpit when it comes to setting your trimmer moving from two to many so M just confirms um, M have we set the mixture for takeoff yes we've lean it magnetos have we checked the magnetos and is it on both A firm the magnetos are on both master switches both are on and then we'll move to the oil and temperature pressures still maintaining in the green primer is in and locked and our gyros we is still showing it's working as well as we do show positive suction um, sometimes they'll show you on your checklist their name at George that's just your autopilot this aircraft doesn't have an autopilot so you can skip it but if your aircraft does have an autopilot ensure the autopilot everything is turned off then moving on to F is for our fuel so again just make one last time sure your fuel is either on with the selector or on the both selecting setting from here you will then set your flaps for takeoff in this case we'll do zero flap takeoff if you're flying a piper you'll probably set it at the first notch but we're now flying a Cessna we've got lots of runway so we leave it in the zero flap degree setting 
instruments again for the eye so we're doing one last check confirming from top our compass is showing uh, more or less in a southerly direction so compass is working as well as all the other instruments is good to go so moving from um, eye to heaven this is just our hatches and harnesses so if your window was open go ahead and close it I recommend for run-up checks to close your window because then the window doesn't flap about just for a little bit better airmanship confirm your both doors is in the lock position if there's a passenger or in this case do not leave a seat belt or harness unattended rather clip it in for good measurement and if you got something at the back like a fire extinguisher make sure it is safely and secured last we're going to electrics so this is going to be the early of too many pilots go flying in heaven early so electrics it shows in positive rate of um, charge that we have there's no negative charge as well as all circuit breakers are in and there's our pre-takeoff checks completed so well done on doing your engine run-up and pre-takeoff checks We'll now just get clearance from the ATC and we'll be airborne in the next two minutes. See you for that next flight lesson.